feds tonight believe they may have cracked open a series of armored car heists, ones that took place back in the 1990s, including right here at 770 North Jefferson Street. Now, the suspects in that case, a family that used to call Wisconsin home. They were two brazen Milwaukee robberies, an armored car heist back in 1995 and a second three years later. That second robbery of more than $770,000 taking place right here at 770 North Jefferson Street, a place where American Security Corp once stood. What police didn't know at the time about that robbery and the one years earlier was this was an inside job and a family affair. Wednesday, Vincent Cabello pleaded guilty in an Oregon court to robbing an armored car in Portland in 2005. The 39-year-old man also blowing the whistle on his parents, Archie and Marion Cabello, telling investigators all three pulled off the Milwaukee heist years earlier. Brian Denson, who reports for the Oregonian, says the case is unlike anything he's ever seen. People, you know, who have stayed fairly well under the radar, and yet allegedly sat on more than three million dollars. That money hidden inside a safety deposit box in the Seattle area. Federal investigators say the three used small amounts of the cash to launder it without alerting the feds. And tonight, Marianne and Archie Cabello maintain that they are innocent. They're scheduled to return to a federal courtroom next week. On your side, reporting live from downtown Milwaukee, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Sounds like an old case finally solved. Thank you, Todd.